Hey, what's up, my G? My name is Brainske from Brainske Africa. Welcome to our new tutorial, and today we are going to be teaching you two easy methods on how you can enhance your image sharpness. So we are going to be working on two images, and this will be our image number two, and this will be image number one. So in our image number one, we'll be learning about the normal retouching of the high sharpness, and in image number two, we'll go for method number two. So in image number one, what basically I will do is I'll make a new background copy, or you can use Ctrl J simply, and then I will move to my brightness slash contrast adjustment, and I put down the contrast. After that, I will move to my filter and look for high pass. I will move my radius at around nine to ten, whatever. So basically, what this does, it sharpens the ranges or edges in an image, not entirely the image, but where are definitely ranges so i'll change my blending mode to either soft light hard light pvd light or linear light so basically these four blending modes what they do they're called the sharpening blend modes yeah best def definitely sharpen blend mode so in vivid light what basically witness is the image gets more sharper uh, so it does in the linear linear mode too and plus the overlay so basically as you can see we are having an extremely sharp sharp image here so i have to bring down my opacity uh this is this is our method one definitely this is our method one so before and thereafter so when i come to my uh image number two <coughs> i'm definitely going to try to bring the same formula used uh to the first image i'll come down bring my brightness slash contrast bring down my contrast to around negative 50 play with my high pass to 10.0 still and then bring in my brain modes then i'm from overly you see the image is extremely sharp definitely this is the first method we have used in the first image uh, to soft light to vivid to hard light the image is extremely uh, sharp but this is not the kind of uh method i'm trying to teach you in a second uh high hand high pass sharpening so basically i will delete this and i'll create two new background copies or you can simply use Ctrl J twice. <clears throat> so I'll name this low, and the above, above I'll name it the high layer. So this this method lift, uh, looks like uh, definitely that of the frequency separation for those that know how to use it. And then I'll move to my blur, select my surface blur. So we're having a, a radius and a threshold. So what basically the the threshold uh, means here or identifies it identifies the the smoothness I need in that skin plus the radius. So I'll move to my apply image and select my lower layer. And then I'll change my blending to either add or subtract. So you must keep in mind that the scale and the offset must match to blend this. If it's on add, you invert. And if it's on subtract, you don't invert. So I can definitely delete this lower layer. And then I'll remain with a high layer to change the blending modes to overlay. As you can see, there is a difference between this and that. So this is basically where we used uh, 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 putting down the brightness slash like contrast layer. And then we are having different type of sharpness, which is extremely more sharp. And this uh, kind of sharpness usually affects the ranges. But when it comes to this image, the entire image has been affected. As you can see, there there is no ranges that demarcate that this is the sharpest area. The entire image is sharpened compared to this. So before after so when you come back here if i change the blending mode to hard light and then i come to image one and change that too you can definitely notice the difference there is a difference there and then when you come back here too you can definitely notice the difference too still so if i change it to uh, vivid light or linear light this is more sharper and then when i come to my uh, image number two it's less of a uh, more sharp compared to the first one so if i put down my opacity still you can definitely notice the difference between two sharpening methods so this has been our tutorial today keep watching our tutorials presented to you by brainscape africa and thank you till next time